strange the things you remember. We have the people, the places, the moments in time forever etched in your heart while others fade in the mist. While growing up, we often see no path before us. We simply take a step and then another, ever forwards, ever onwards, rushing towards some place we do not know where. And then one day, we turn around and look back and see that every step that we have taken was a choice. To go left, to go right, to go forward or even not go at all. Every day, every person has a choice between right and wrong, between love and hate and sometimes even between right, between life and death. There is no singular acceptable path to a good life. You need to choose a path that works best for you. A good life is a constant discovery and in this first episode, we bring to you some wonderful, vibrant, adventurous people who are here to share their story, their idea of a good life with you. me to speak a little bit about my journey of uh, what may be a good luck. Um, I'm sitting here in my daughter and daughter's farm. Uh, it's a beautiful place and it is indeed a good life. Um, I've had an interesting career over the last um, four decades and um, every decade has been uh, an interesting journey for myself. The first decade being the educational decade where I did my PhD, postdoctoral fellowship. Um, so mainly focus on education. Um, the second decade uh, has been the early, early struggle of life. Uh, figuring out what you want to do in life, figuring out um, which direction to go, academia, industry. Uh, your role is in family. My daughter was born, life changed. Um, the third decade is, uh, is, a, is a place which is probably the most difficult, I think, for, it was for me, where um, without a mentor, it's almost impossible to sort of maneuver that phase um, because there are so many pulls and pushes from different sides. You work life balance, you're trying to struggle uh, and, and be on the top of your game at, at work. Uh, there's so many things that you have to do at that at that phase. You're responsible for many things, but you're in middle management, so you're not responsible for everything. Um, so that third decade is sort of a, a tough decade, I think. And then the fourth decade is, is the is almost the harvesting of everything that you've learned um, from education to your middle management, and um, that's the decade to sort of deliver. Probably the most productive period. Is, is during that during that time where you've had the confidence, you have um, some financial stability by that time, and you're able to uh, utilize all the experiences that you have and implement it into the projects that you take. Um, and then I'm now in my fifth decade, which is uh, post-retirement, figuring out what to do in the next 10, uh, 10 years. And so uh, it, it's, it's been a good life so far. Um, so uh, let me talk a little bit more uh, about that third and fourth decade um, because I think those are the most productive and challenging uh, in your lives. And so depending on what subjects you take or what things you want to do, uh, you will figure out yourself. My challenge has been um, always uh, I'm interested in so many different things and how do I get to do so many, how, how do I do everything without impacting one or the other. Uh, you know, we all uh, we all try to multitask, but personally, multitasking is a very tough job for me. Uh, my, my wife used to say, uh, the only thing I can actually multitask well uh, is maybe walk and chew gum. <laughs> uh, but uh, seriously, I think my interest in music my interest in art, which evolved over a period of time, and my interest in science and the immunology. Uh, in that fourth, third and fourth decade of my career, I was able to sort of merge both of them and extract the best out of both sides. 
um, and that's where I found real um, happiness. So whenever I was struggling on the science side, I used to gravitate towards the artistic side of myself. And then whenever I was struggling with the artistic side of myself, I would dive into the deep side of science. And then I would keep toggling back and forth. So that has sort of my, been my journey. And um, let's see what the next decade has in store. Um, I'm very excited about the future uh, with my best friend from high school, Ravi um, Kare. Uh, we've started a new company, an adventure. Again, we're exploring that space in between of engineering and biology and seeing what's there in between and seeing how we'll explore that. So uh, that's sort of my description of my Thank you, Jesse, for giving the opportunity to talk about this. Uh, all the best. Hi, I'm Satyendrajit Kaur. I currently live in Mumbai. Uh, I'm a lawyer by profession, uh, but nowadays I'm making some fun content for my Instagram handle. You guys can go and check out my Instagram handle too by name of Sartaj uh, underscore Satinder. And thanks for inviting me to share my perspective regarding life. So for me, there is no differentiation of life. I mean, there is nothing called a good life, healthy life or a psychological rich life. Life means consisting of all these three things. In my life, I want to have stability. I want to have enjoyment. I want to feel uh, some sadness also. I need some purpose for my life. Uh, deep emotions too. So that I can have, I can feel everything. I can understand everything. Uh, that's how what life means to me. Uh, we all are human beings. And we all know it, we are very adaptable species, right? The definition of good and bad changes according to the circumstances. Like for example, I have a sweet tooth. I love eating sweets. So if in every meal I am having sweet, 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 a full loaded of sweet meal, to stabilize or to balance my taste buds, I need something chakpata, something crunchy. So, so that I can enjoy the flavor of sweetness next time. Same for life. If I'm having everything according to my plan, you know, the life is going on the same track and everything is happy, happy, blooming, bright. So I won't have the importance of brightness when next time. For to have the importance and uh, enjoy those moments of brightness, I need to have darkness in my life. I need to feel sad, emotional, uh, stressed also, so that next time when happiness comes into my life, I know what is the importance of those happiness. What is the feeling? What what does that feeling comes from, and how does I feel? Or I'll value those moments. To sum up. What I want to say, I have written four lines. Hope you guys like it. Uh, it's like, Hazi zindagi koi akhri bus stop nahi ki ticket liya aur baith gai. Hazi zindagi koi akhri bus stop nahi ki ticket liya aur baith gai. Ye to ek safar hai janab jise driver ban kar hume hi pura karna hai. Dukh hai to sukh ko bitha lo. Dhup aaye to chhao mein khade ho jao. थोड़ा ठहरो रुको फिर चल पड़ो कभी किसी की मदद करो कभी किसी का कांधा ले लो उम्मीदें जगाओ टूटने पर आंसू भी बहाओ हंसी जिंदगी कोई आखिरी मंजिल नहीं ये एक सफर है जिसे पूरा हमें ही करना है तो हर पल जीते जाओ थैंक यू सो मच Hi friends, uh, I'm Iman Reddy, and I am on Jesse on Globe. I've been invited by my good friend Jesse to speak about a uh, good life, constant discovery. Uh, so I want to share my experience about it. 
and to do so let me you know start with a place like this where everything is green and that's how life should be e good life means uh, good food good habits good uh, workout and uh, this is a mix of things which brings color in my life and make sure that you know i do the right things bring my family together at the right places do a lot of uh, activities in terms of going out with them sitting for lunches breakfast dinner and that is what we all should look forward uh, at this age and at this maturity where family is coming together and staying together and living together and eating together and that's what good life makes also uh, to add more in, uh, inputs in this i personally feel fitness is also very important all of you should spend a lot of time on fitness it's an essential part where we all you know should spend at least an hour in a day and give ourselves a boost which makes you feel good do meditation do yoga do uh, weights whatever it takes uh, spend good one one and a half hours on yourself uh, what i also understand in last four months is since i come from a business development background where i have to do a lot of partnerships with new companies uh, the meetings were more face to face suddenly things have changed and it has become more of a, a situation where i can't even see the face of the person when i'm selling and, and the stress level goes up uh, because you suddenly feel can i do this business any further what would be my targets how would i take the team forward uh, this is the time when you have to balance a lot of things uh, at the same time you have to balance your home uh, uh, requirements you have to make sure that everything at house is also safe and it, everything at work is also safe and to ensure that the business continuity is there the stress levels are quite high where we generally tend to bend towards a situation where uh, you break down sometimes you become very emotional you try to do things which you have not been doing you start thinking about whether i'll be laid off uh, so here i really strike a balance wherein i i whenever i get my time in the day i make sure that i spend at least one and a half hour for myself where i give good workout to myself and and my focus is completely on me at that time and i really uh, urge all of you that generally workouts will give you that kind of focus uh, you would do things which are required to be done for yourself at that time because you only thinking about you and your mind suddenly becomes uh, not so occupied it's quite open uh, you don't think about how bad things can go and that's where when you come back and start working your confidence is very different yes so as i said it's very important to keep uh, looking at yourself and respect yourself and to ensure that your health is good so that you can keep everything in control uh, i would like to thank jesse to give me this opportunity and keep watching jesse at glow and uh, best of luck keep fit keep doing your workouts keep out of covid keep safe thank you Hi, I'm Tazneen Bakri, clinical research professional, Indian by birth, and currently living in Sydney, Australia, for the last 13 years. My university mate Jessie asked me to talk about a happy life for her channel Jessie on Go. Being an optimist, at first I thought life is full of happiness, and I can't be grateful enough to God. for the life that i have lived and continue to live but then i thought each one of us have our own perspective of what a happy life is so i sat down to think what are the things that make me most happy and i came up with my family mother nature and the feeling of fulfillment when i'm able to help someone Let's talk about my family. I found happiness in seeing my children grow from cute little kids to teenage boys now. In watch them play sports, in organizing their birthday parties, and guiding them all along. I found happiness in supporting my better half in his worst times 
and being by his side when he celebrated his achievements. I find happiness in little things every day, whether, whether it is having coffee with mom over the weekend or having barbecue with the family. I love Mother Nature. As you can see, I am doing this video in my backyard, so close to nature. I have been blessed with travel to some of the most beautiful countries in the world. It is springtime currently in Australia and I love watching these beautiful coloured flowers. Lastly, I find happiness when I am able to help someone. It could be anything from giving a small piece of advice, donating for Cancer Foundation, or sponsoring a child's education. Even a small act of kindness gives me a feeling of fulfillment and happiness. Like me, I hope that you realize where your happiness lies and continue to live a good, happy life. Be well. Be safe, be happy. Thank you. You heard these beautiful words from these amazing people. To sum up, a good life is about making memories and being open to new experiences. These experiences can be both positive and negative. Do what you are passionate about. Don't get bored out of your minds. Be an explorer. Be a free spirit. Stay tuned for more interesting episodes from Jesse and Flo. Until then, it's a goodbye and you have a good night.